Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March 25th of 2023, well, it is titled Venus and the Da Vinci Glow. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken just a couple of days ago on March 23rd, when we could see in the evening sky the very thin crescent moon there down close to the horizon, with just that sliver of it illuminated. So that's what we call a very young moon just appearing in the sky after sunset. And high up above that in the sky toward the upper left of the image, we do see the planet Venus very prominent as the evening star right now, and will remain so through much of the beginning of this year into the middle portions of this year. Now, the moon will change its position very quickly. And actually, one day later from some locations here on Earth, that it would be visible to pass in front of Venus, confirming an occultation. An occultation occurs when one astronomical object passes directly in front of another one and blocks it out. Now you have to be at the right location to be able to see that because the moon is relatively close to Earth and depending on where you are on Earth, its apparent position will shift because of parallax. So it will appear in a slightly different position and in many cases would pass to one side or the other of Venus in many locations. And only if you are on that correct spot, just as you have to be for an eclipse, would the moon pass directly in front of Venus. So that was something that would have been able to see uh, uh, this yet just yesterday. Now we also see what we call the Earth shine and that is the other part of the moon. We see the brightly lit thin crescent, but we can actually see the rest of the moon there shining very dimly and that is what is called Earth shine or sometimes a Da Vinci glow that we see. And that would be the moon surface being illuminated not directly by the sun, but by sunlight striking the Earth's atmosphere and being reflected to the moon and then back to Earth again. And that gives it a much fainter glow. So it does not stand out as much as the illuminated portion that part that is directly illuminated by the sun, but can sometimes be seen especially when there's only a little bit of the actual surface of the moon being illuminated that we can see here. So in this case, you have a very thin waxing crescent crescent moon, meaning that it will over the next few days get thicker and thicker and we will see more and more of it illuminated. And it will also move higher and higher in the sky. So in one day it went from here to about the plant to about where Venus is located. And in another day it will jump that distance again. Remember that the moon will make one complete cycle of phases every month roughly every 29 and a half days that it would take to come from this phase and come back to that exact same phase again. So here we get to see our moon down below it is there is a very thin crescent and the planet Venus is the evening star up above toward the upper left side of the image. So that was our picture of the day for March 25th of 2023. It was titled Venus and the Da Vinci Glow. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Wandering. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.